Okay, let's go to crude oil. Uh, I want to show you how uh, we can look at the trend chart first. This is our trend chart. We have a trend filter built in. Let me get these Fibonacci levels erased. We've had two major retracements here this morning, actually three to go long the market there. We're all created by the red bar reversal catching the counter trend traders short. Those are your three major buy levels, and I'm going to show you how you can get these lows. I caught the low here, just caught the low a second ago here. But once you get an opposite color bar that goes against the trend filter, you want to look for retracement. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So these are called one, two, three patterns. You can play yesterday's video. It's posted on the website at daytradingthefutures.com under recent videos. These are one, two, three patterns are also called um, ABC patterns or like I showed you yesterday, they're called J-hook patterns. Simple one, two, three patterns on Elliott Wave. It also is called the third it's called the impulse wave. You want to try to get a three wave long. That's your largest wave of any type of wave pattern. This is also one, two. Here's your third wave up there too. This can be whether either a three or a five pattern. You're trying to catch the three wave. So there's one, two, three, one, two, three. Now how you catch these one, two, three patterns or ABCs or J hook patterns they call them. The easy way to do it is find them off the trend chart. It's a larger time frame chart. I have a trend filter built into the trend chart. This is not like a normal Rinko bar. The first offset color that comes in, let me erase these. I'll show you how you pinpoint these with accuracy. We'll do this again today. After I got off the mic yesterday, we had four of them in a row to the upside. They were gorgeous, just like we drew it up on the board. So. Let's take a look at this pattern and how you want to get these one, two, three. We'll start out with the first one. The easy way to do it, guys and gals, make sure you have 90% candle close above the small MA. That's key. You've got to be at least a 90% candle close before the red bar comes in. Red bar comes in, you've got to be a 90% candle close above. Open versus close. Once that happens, you're going to look for the first color change on the trend chart so the first color change once that comes in meaning the red candle open versus close you know that you are in a position to look for a buy retracement we caught the low yesterday like this also so what you want to do is as soon as that red bar prints or closes against the overall trend filter trend you go to your fib tool fib retracements you take the low and lock yourself in and go to the high. Now I said yesterday your buy zone is going to be between 50 to 62 percent retracement off this chart. There's my buy zone, 62 percent is right there, 50 percent is right there, so there was the buy zone. Look how the market comes down, hits the buy zone, let me get this off, and she takes off. The next one, one, two, three pattern happened here, there's your two. Once you get the red bar that prints, there's a one. Once you get the red bar that prints, you know you got counter trend traders that are going to be trapped. You're above your small MA. It's nice when you're above all three. You don't have to be just so you're above your small MA. Right there is your small, I mean, red bar reversal. That's your two pattern coming back into a three Elliott wave long or a one, two, three pattern or ABC. This is a C up or a J hook up. What we want to do then is we want to look as soon as that red bar prints, get our fib tool, go down to the low, as soon as that red bar prints to the high. This stopped at 62% retracement to the exact tick. Exactly the tick we want to go long in our buy zone. Right there was to the exact tick. That is just gorgeous. Your buy zone's here. And there you go. You got a nice ABC long. Look how the 62% stop to the low now you don't you wouldn't be able to know what fib to do it on if you just trade off small charts like this on the five and three i'm not worried about the fibonacci arrows i'm not worried about the market profile i want to set my trades up on the trend chart i want to set my buy zone so if i take that fib off if you know the buy zone caught the low there again based upon that red bar reversal
you got to look at at least 50% re minimum 50% retracement to get the good ones. So there's the last one, two, three pattern. Now, how can you time the trade to get in? If I look over here at my uh, sim dots, my sim dots are absolutely worthless by themselves by nature because they're great for scaling contracts. That's how I created them to reduce risk to scale. But they, you really can't trade off them for entries unless you are set up with the correct trend and know the correct retracement to get in. So they work great, though, after you know the counter trend traders are coming in. So once you know the red bar is printed, I start watching this chart to find out the area where I'm looking for a buy. So if you notice on this low over here on my trend chart, it matched up with my circle here. If you know on this one, two, three pattern, it matched up with my retracement on my sim dots here. So you look for the sim dots to retrace. Look for a three sim arrow to fire over here, my short time frame, or a positive market delta. Your stop loss would be two ticks below that swing low. Now, I already told you yesterday what you can do, and this is very accurate. A lot of traders do this in the Forex, is you can trade off the trend chart by itself. If you let it come up and see the red bar reversal, you're in a one, two, three pattern. After it closes green, that's your entry, and your stop loss is two ticks below that swing. That's one for one. If you let it get into a 62% retracement, you're trending up, stop loss two ticks below the swing low, there's your green bar reversal, it's two for two. You come down to the control point, it stop right on my control point on market profile over here. If you see it, we trade control point with trend. Red green bar reversal is three for three this morning. We were actually four for four in the morning before it reversed yesterday on the same type of setup. Right there you go, there's your position. So if I look at that last swing, and I go here to here, I look at that last swing, I'm at the bottom 76% retracement, that's my line in the sand, you cannot break that level, it comes right down to it, bounces right off of it, and that's my line in the sand where you cannot close below that for a continuation with trend. So when it came down to my control point, we're in a nice long trade, we're now three for three on crude off the trend chart since 5.30 this morning again. And they were all based off the one, two, three patterns, you can call them ABCs, or you can call them the J-hooks. Okay, you get a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of uh, trade, I mean, uh, um, a lot of people out there right now are trying to, are calling the, uh, uh, these J-hooks the most powerful pattern in the market. Well, the trend chart just absolutely nails them. Okay, so, but if you took this low, say you took this low, you still got, uh, you still got the buy zone, right there's your buy zone, 62 to 50% to retracement, right there off the trend chart. So now you are three for three in the market. Uh, by just using that trend chart by itself. And that's a gorgeous thing about our, our retracement levels. You can take that low, you can take this low, uh, or you can take this low. All of them can flew together. If I take this low, I'm right at 62% retracement to the exact tick again. I got the exact tick down here at 62% off my trend chart. I got the exact tick right here again off this low. So if you want to see confluence, just for uh, leave your Fibonacci levels on there, and you want to do three of them, you do three of them to see where they stack. And I do that also, see where they stack. If you want to do that, you can. You can see they all stack 50 to 62% retracement. This buy zone right there is exactly at that level. Right there is the zone to look for a continuation buy. That's how important this trend chart is. It really narrows your, you can stop, uh, see where the 62% retracement is. That's a golden ratio. Everybody knows what the golden ratio is. The golden ratio is 62%, and that is beautiful catching on this trend chart. It's very hard, difficult to know where to get in if you take any type of small chart, tick chart, minute chart, share chart, uh, range bar chart. It's very difficult because you don't know where to uh, put your highs and lows at. Well, I alleviate it with looking at the trend chart here because this trend chart, once it closes an opposite color candle against the overall trend, that's when you want to go to work. Okay, you can use targets, targets for symmetry dots, Greg. Symmetry dots are a great way to use targets. Symmetry dots, you can put them on the three sim as targets or your five sim to scale. I like on trend days, I like to get the third set of symmetry dots. That's typically a $700 trade on average. Okay, use your symmetry dots to scale. That's why I invented them for it in the first place, but they were great for retracement trading. All right, so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to use this trend chart by not looking at fib, uh, look, not looking at our fib arrows, not looking at our market delta, not looking at our market profile until we get a setup on this trend chart. 
We're going to sit up there. We're good to go. Okay.